After its unveiling in 2017, the Tesla Class 8 Semi was originally scheduled for production in 2019. Since then, however, production has been met with one delay after another. This year, the company expected production to start, but then there was another delay. One of the key reasons behind this frustrating episode is that right now, Tesla doesn't have enough suitable batteries that are crucial to the success of the Semi. Let's talk about how Tesla faced these compounding challenges and measures the company is taking to avoid any further delays with this production. Tesla plans to produce two versions of its Semi, one with 480 km range and another with a range of 800 km that might even go up to 950. The Semi will be able to recover 80% of its load in just half an hour or 600 km in just 30 minutes. All this is thanks to a network of mega chargers that Tesla plans on setting up in America's most important trade routes. The first buyers of the Semi will have to wait for three more years at least before they can get behind the wheel of this futuristic truck while Tesla works on beefing up the battery supply. In the meantime, lots of things are happening in the background with a pre-production series of the Semi set to be assembled for future testing. Tesla has reportedly set up a new production facility a stone's throw from its lithium-ion battery manufacturing plant, which most of us know as the Gigafactory in the state of Nevada. Tesla hopes to produce as many as five electric trucks per week. In 2020, Elon Musk had confirmed that the Tesla Semi was going to be built at the Gigafactory located in Austin. We're going to be doing a major factory there, and is also where we will be doing Cybertruck there, the Tesla Semi program, and we will be doing Model 3 and Y for the eastern half of North America. However, amid all the delays and perhaps taking the advantage of Nevada's site's production capabilities, Tesla Semi production will now move to Nevada. Initially, it made more sense to have the Tesla Semi production take place at Austin since it would give the company a great test route. The new production site will cover more than 500,000 square feet, and recent images show that a lot of construction activity has been taking place on the site in the last few months. Those who are keeping a very watchful eye on proceedings are certain that it is unlikely to see the company produce 50 Tesla semi-trucks in 2021. However, if the plan for the Nevada production line is to produce five trucks a week, we have a feeling that eventually the company will move the semi-production operations to Austin once they have perfected the art of production. It does make sense because in July 2020, Tesla's president of automotive and the head of the Tesla semi-program, Jerome Guellen, did seem confident about a Tesla production plant in Austin. I want to be clear that the first few units we will use ourselves. Tesla to carry our own freight, probably mostly between Fremont and Reno, which is a fantastic test route. We're going to prove that we have very good reliability. So far, the early units do have it, but we'll do that at a larger scale, and we have also promised some early units to some long-term, very patient and supportive customers, and we'll do that. But since the production has been delayed, we have to worry about one company that got a little too excited during the 2017 Semi unveiling and placed an order of 100 of those trucks. While it seems clear that the Semi will not be available for at least another year, and this is us being very optimistic about things, Pepsi CEO Ramon LaGuarta is confident that his company is still going to have at least a few of these trucks by the end of 2021. Transportation is about 10% of our overall gas emissions, so it's important and we're working on different solutions," responded LaGuardia. We replace our fleet regularly, every 10 years more or less, and we're already starting to buy electric trucks actually from Tesla. I mean, I don't want to promote anybody, but that's the brand we're using so far and we're getting our first deliveries this Q4. If we go through Tesla's Q3 earnings call, the semi status is still in development alongside the Roadster and an unnamed future product which could be anything from the Tesla bot to the Tesla bike to maybe another variant of the flamethrower. On top of that, Elon Musk has already confirmed that production for the semis cannot be guaranteed until his company cannot build the 4680 batteries that are touted as the real game changers in the semi-truck industry. So it is unclear why LaGuardia is under the impression that Elon Musk will be handing over keys of 15 semis by the end of this year. Maybe there's something we don't know. Yet. But then again, it all comes down to the company's current inability to produce the 4680 cells in mass, so even the most optimistic of Tesla fans would know that it will take time for a semi to be produced and then sold. During this company's fourth quarter earnings call in January, Musk revealed that the semi would use typically five times the number of cells that a car would, 
but it would not sell for five times what a car would sell for. In his April earnings call, the Tesla founder said that they were a year or a year and a half away from producing the cells in high volume. There's another twist in the tale. Jerome Guellen has left the company and he was one of the biggest advocators of the Semi program. With him gone, there is a slight sense of dread over the future of the Semi, and continuous delays don't really cover the company in any glory. But then again, the fact that the company is close to establishing a production line means that they have made significant inroads with regards to the production of their much-awaited EV truck. I mean, why would a company like Tesla that has already defied expectations and changed the entire landscape of EV transportation would take on a project without being confident about it? Speaking about Tesla's gigafactories, there are rumors that China might play host to another gigafactory. Theoretically speaking, Tesla already has five such factories if we count the one at Buffalo, which does not produce any battery or vehicle, and is only used to manufacture photovoltaic panels for its subsidiary Solar City. So if we just count factories that exclusively produce batteries and cars, they have four of those factories. During an annual meeting with shareholders earlier this year, Elon Musk spoke about the importance of the brand in China, and since the factory in Shanghai has already exceeded production capacity, churning out roughly 500,000 vehicles per year. Quite a few of the Model 3 delivered to European customers were produced in China as Tesla waited for the Gigafactory in Berlin to become active. It is being reported that plans are already in motion to create another Gigafactory in China near Qingdao. Tesla aims to boast around 1.3 million deliveries in 2022. Barring a catastrophe and another production unit would go a long way in helping the company outperform. In fact, it could also expedite the goal of manufacturing 2 million vehicles a year. At the end of the day, Tesla is already enjoying record levels of sales, its production capacity in China has increased by 348%, and in September alone, they produced 56,006 units. China's share in Tesla's overall sales rose to 22.6% in the third quarter, with reported sales amounting to $3.11 billion. In the United States alone, Tesla's September sales matched its July sales numbers at 28,350. At present, Tesla's main focus is to continue ramping up its production of Model 3 and Y that are enjoying a lot of interest in the US, Europe, and China. This is perhaps another reason why you cannot sense desperation from Elon Musk every time he talks about the Semi. Of course, once the Semi's production starts, it will add another vertical to the EV manufacturing giant, but at the same time, the company does not seem to want to rush into things just for the sake of having another product lined up. The Gigafactory might not be Tesla's end game when it comes to its semi-production, but it would at least give them enough time to test the product before moving its production phase to Austin, where mass production is expected. Given that it has been four years since Elon Musk introduced the world to a new generation of trucking, it is understandable that many people are eager to see the semis dominate the truck industry. However, until they are not able to have a sufficient quantity of batteries at their disposal, we don't expect Tesla to start producing these semis, even if it costs them a few more delays in the coming months.